Hello and welcome back to No Bullshit. Today we're responding to a video from the Commentary Community, which is basically just a bunch of whiny beta cucks who are barely 20 years old. They have no educations or experiences or lives, so they mostly talk about boring YouTube drama day and night. And they also love goofing on Instagram comedians. How original. But today, today I've become the target of one of their videos. A couple weeks ago, the channel NFKRZ pronounced no fuckers because he's so edgy, y'all. Well, no fuckers made a response to me recently. He called it the worst anti-BuzzFeed video of all time. That's right, this Russian ripoff channel is actually going to defend BuzzFeed, and he's defending the Try Guys no less. It looks like we got a Russian beta defending the BuzzFeed betas. Perfect. And his commentary is amateur and childish at best, and hypocritical and dishonest at worst, which you'll soon see. Without further ado, let's go ahead and check this shit out. Nice retro intro, bro. Aside from the fact that that 80s look and style occurred before this little guy was born, it's also a staple of the Leafy Is Here channel. Just saying. That's the kind of people we're dealing with today. Uh, before we get into this, guys, you know that I hate BuzzFeed. I just like a very vast majority of their videos because they're pushing a very, very dumb, uh, you know, social justice warrior agenda. BuzzFeed does push social justice. Constantly. So I don't understand why you made that voice there. Saying things in a weird voice for no reason is not funny. I do fine. I don't give a shit. I don't give a fuck, Destiny. You met a true red-pilled alpha motherfucker. Welcome to the gun show. Ugh! Yes, this guy literally unironically just called himself an alpha male red-pill motherfucker. Well, right out the gate, no fuckers is lying and misrepresenting me. Just like every other response who has tried to use this clip of me as an insult. This is so unoriginal. It's almost like he copied and pasted this comment from a dozen other videos that lied and said the same thing about me. I didn't unironically say I was an alpha male. I said that as a joke. I was fucking with Destiny in that stream. It's pretty obvious, especially to anyone who's watched my channel and knows that I say alpha male as a joke all the time. So we can see no fuckers can't attack my videos honestly. In fact, he hasn't even attacked my video at all yet. All he's done is cherry picked a clip from another channel. Destiny's channel, by the way. Destiny being the biggest beta cuck man child on the internet. And Destiny, of course, has been kicked off of Twitter and Twitch repeatedly for his misconduct. He defends incest and has pedophile fans. Destiny even got caught sharing underage pics of young girls. And now we got no fuckers here quoting his stream and siding with him? Wow. Just wow. Great start guys. And what did no fuckers even want to use this terrible person's stream for? So he could take one of my jokes out of it and pretend I was serious? What the fuck? We're only one minute into this crap and I can already tell this is gonna be quite interesting. <laughs> what do you guys think an alpha male red pill motherfucker looks like? Like, like this? Well, probably like this, right? Well, no. This is what the guy looks like and I'm not doing this to make fun of his looks. I, I mean, I know he looks like he looks like your 40-year-old dad who's divorced and works in Target or some shit. And now we got another Leafy is here move coming from no fuckers. This is exactly what iDubs attacked Leafy for, for doing over a year ago. Leafy likes to present a person and say, I'm not showing this person to make fun of them, but then he goes and does it, and no fuckers is doing the same thing. He's saying, I don't want to make fun of no bullshit's looks, and then in the next line he does just that. This is weak and pathetic. And not to mention, I don't even look ugly or terrible in this video. I just look like a normal guy to me, I, I don't see what he's Saying. But I'm not making this point to bash on his looks, I just want you guys to keep in mind that this is what he looks like, because later in the video, this guy has a lot to say about men at BuzzFeed and their looks, so. You just bash my looks, and that's fine, I really don't care, but it is fucking weird when you say you're not bashing my looks right after you just did. And as for me attacking the BuzzFeed Try Guys looks in my video, well, that's because their video was based on their looks. It was based on them having a contest to see who's the most attractive. So of course I chimed in and gave my two cents, I mean, I had to, it makes sense. But you bringing up pictures of me from other videos and calling me old and divorced? That makes no sense, dude. Maybe in your weird little messed up Russian mind it does, but not in the real world. I'm not claiming to be good looking. I'm not talking about my looks or having a contest about it. BuzzFeed is. So the video is called BuzzFeed Strike Guys Are Low Testosterone Betas. No bullshit, the alpha male is calling a bunch of BuzzFeed guys betas because we all know that a true alpha male has to call out himself an alpha male and not as beta, so otherwise he's not an alpha male. You kind of stammered there, kid. Who alpha male has to call out himself an alpha male and not as has to call out himself an alpha male and not as And I think you lost your point somewhere in that confusion. Regardless, I say I'm alpha and call others betas as a joke. It triggers people like you pretty damn hard, too. Look, it got you to make this whole response video about it. Four try guys here look rather gay. Let's be real. I mean, no offense, but come on. They are way too overdressed and fashionable for straight men. 
men. They're all fair-skinned, skinny, weak, nerdy types. There's no- Wow, this is some Jinx-level reactions we got going here. Those facial expressions? Are those supposed to be funny? Is this supposed to be interesting? I feel like we're back in 2015 when reaction channels were still a thing. And I thought no fuckers was supposed to be a commentary channel, not a Jinx-style reaction channel. Well, just because you dress like an average Target employee or some shit, just because you wear, you know, like, fat-ass shirts, like, you know, like what Boogie298 has to wear because he's so fat. It's like, you wear the same shit. And because you don't groom for shit, you have a shitty ass haircut. And, well, I'm not groomed right now as well, so I shouldn't be making this point, but whatever. It just sounds like an insecure fuck taking the piss out of other people's appearances. You mean kind of like how you just took the piss out of my appearance? How come you can call me fat, poorly dressed, and not well groomed? Because by your logic, that would make you insecure about your looks. Also, this video he's commenting on with me in it, that's not even from the same video. That's not from my BuzzFeed video, it has nothing to do with it. Yet, no fuckers goes back to it over and over again. Because all he has against me is calling me fat and ugly, like a high school bully. There's no real commentary here. Just shallow fat shaming. This brings me to one of my main points for today. No fucker seems to believe that I'm ugly. I disagree, but let's go with it for now. He thinks I'm ugly and, to him, that means I can't comment on other people's looks, right? I mean, that seems to be the big implication here, but this assumption is just patently false. You don't have to be good looking to comment on other people's appearances. Just like you don't have to be tall to comment on other tall people. And you don't have to be a woman to comment on other women. You don't have to be skinny to call someone fat. This idea that you have to be perfectly attractive and fit in order to comment on other people's looks is absurd. It's like saying only Oscar winning filmmakers can review movies. Or only professional players can comment on baseball games. It's just not true. But using this logic though, I do have an out here. Because, you know, since no fuckers is Russian and not from America, can he really comment on our American videos? On this American website, YouTube, centered in California? Or more specifically, me and BuzzFeed are both Los Angeles based channels who are native English speakers. So by no fuckers logic, he can't comment on either of our videos because he's not only from another country, he can barely fucking speak English himself. And then, of course, let's not forget the whole reason I talked about the Try Guys looks to begin with. This whole BuzzFeed video is about which member of the group is most attractive. They are inviting people to comment on their appearances. You must understand that. I'm not saying this shit for no reason like no fuckers is. I'm giving my take on their looks because that's what their video is about. Uh, no, it's because they work at BuzzFeed and they have to produce interesting videos so that millions of people will watch them and this is what they came up with as a, as a topic. It's just a fun little science experiment. You stammered again, no fuckers. This is what they came up with as a, as a topic. It with as a, as a topic. As a, as a topic. It Get your shit together. If you go down to any Try Guys video in the comments, the panties are fucking soaked for Eugene, okay? Every woman who watches BuzzFeed wants to fuck him, okay? Okay, dude, I get it. You think Eugene is hot and fuckable. That's cool, but us straight dudes and the girls that like straight dudes were not into betas like you and Eugene in BuzzFeed. I think I now know why this Russian wanted to defend the BuzzFeed betas so bad. He wishes he was one of them. <laughs> He just said their videos were entertaining and everything, and he's calling them all attractive and stuff. It makes sense, right? I think we found a gay YouTuber from Russia who is in love with these BuzzFeed betas. But then they have the gayest hoes of all time talking about butt-fucking them? Once again, I'm getting a vision of an insecure fuck who's also very, very homophobic because what the fuck is this, okay? Have you ever, have you not ever made a gay joke with a friend? Oh, now I'm insecure and homophobic? Wow, that's some next level commentary right there. Also, have you guys noticed how no fuckers is ignoring all of my points. I actually make real and insightful points in my video, but he cuts all of those out so he can just call me a homophobe, probably because he's gay and offended. Ironically, that is one of the most virgin things you could a any man could say. I bet this guys haven't se had sex with more than three girls in their lives. Yeah, like having sex with three women is an achievement. Like, I bet most men have had sex with more than three women by the age of 19 or 20. I mean, if you guys have looks at no bullshit, he probably had like three girlfriends and he's like, I don't know, how old is he? 45? So now he's like, yeah, I'm an alpha male. I fucked three girls in my life, guys. <laughs> so this is more confusing and hypocritical behavior from no fuckers. It's kind of complicated to explain, so bear with me for a second. So I said the BuzzFeed guys probably haven't slept with many women, and no fuckers doesn't agree, and he doesn't like me saying that. He even says that that's a beta thing to say. And then, in the next line, he turns to me and says I haven't slept with many women. What the fuck? Not only is this guy being hypocritical, he's fucking stupid, and he's stealing my jokes. This is just like before, when I said the Try Guys weren't good looking. No fucker said I 
was wrong and then he goes and says the same thing to me. And he also hates on me for calling them betas and then he calls me beta over and over. And then I say they don't sleep with many women and he hates that and then he says I don't sleep with many women. Fucking priceless. You really can't make this shit up guys. The hypocrisy is really strong in this one. And another reason this is getting so confusing is because no fuckers is responding to my response video. A response to a response. Which is pretty trite. And it's something a smarter person like myself would try to avoid. But here we are. And now I have to respond to his response of my response. So things are getting pretty convoluted. I'm pretty sure he's bald under that comb over too. So you want to talk shit about haircuts? Have you have you looked at yourself, dog? That's that, that looks like the head I had when I was 15. Pretty sure he's bald under that. Well, let's check out yo. You got you got the sort of a Jake Paul Logan Paul hair going on. You know, you know Logan Paul has a very bad hairline. You also got hair that looks like a comb over that hides your fucking baldness, dude. Yeah, it's it's not any different from this guy right here, except you know, I, I don't like his hairstyle as well personally, but it looks a tiny bit better than this. So, no fucker's response to me making fun of Eugene's hair is to make fun of my hair from a separate video on my channel. And after this tangent, he even agrees that he doesn't like Eugene's hair too. So what's the point of bringing up my other videos? Does this guy really think I can't comment on haircuts because he doesn't like my haircut? I don't, I don't get it. But using his logic, let's go ahead and say this. I don't like your videos, no fuckers. Does that mean you can't comment on mine now? I'm really getting confused. Your logic isn't sound, to say the least. The equivalent of this would be me saying, hey, no fuckers. You can't call me fat and ugly. Look at this old picture of you I found. You're fat and ugly, so you can't call other people that. This is how juvenile and thin this kid's commentary is. Okay, here's the thing, guys. These testosterone levels are ridiculously low, and normal testosterone levels in males range from 270 to 1070. Now, with this point, I do agree, and this is like the only actual point no bullshit has in this video is that, uh, ironically, you no know, BuzzFeed try, guys, the testosterone levels are so low. First of all, I make a number of other points in my video. This is just the best one and probably the only one simple enough for this college dropout to understand. Secondly, this kid uses the word ironically like how Leafy uses the word literally, meaning neither of them use it properly. Time to grab a dictionary, no fuckers. You need to work on your English, buddy. And it's pretty funny to be fair. Uh, basically what this guy just did is that he found this one thing about testosterone like, hey, the testosterone low levels are low. Let's make an entire 40 minute video taking the piss out of their looks. And That's the third little stumble in about six minutes for no fuckers. Strike three. You're out of here. Also, I didn't get to mention this yet, but this guy's voice is so obnoxious. He's got that weird, deep, nasally pyro voice going on. They all talk through their nose constantly like this. Hey, what's up, guys? No fuckers here. Um, I'm a Russian wannabe American who can barely speak the English, and I'm gonna make hypocritical claims against American YouTubers, huh? Because I'm jealous of them, and I probably have a secret gay crush on them, too. Ha <laughs> ha Huh, he's ugly. Huh, he's old. Huh, he's divorced. I'm funny. I'm Russian. Bitch, you just got Rocky Ford up in here. Americans beat Russians every time, just like the Cold War. Never forget. And calling them beta, ugly, uh, cucks. At the same time, while well, himself looking like a 40-year-old divorced father. It's 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 not a, it's not a good look. No bullshit. It's not. Sure it is. My show and videos are doing great. It's a great look, my dude. And you calling me a 40-year-old divorced father over and over again is getting old. Ironically, and that's how you use the word ironically, by the way. This is like when little kids think anyone over 25 is a dinosaur, a fossil. And it really shows your age, kiddo. It shows how young and childish no fuckers really is. He sounds like a high schooler who thinks his teachers and anyone over 30 is like a hundred years old. Time to stop guessing ages, guy. You're pretty terrible at it. Look at those bug eyes. He's like an iguana or something. Who are you looking at, Keith? And which eye am I supposed to look into? <laughs> Jesus Christ, this is the worst piece of commentary heard in my life. Now that's irony. No fuckers. You were trying to figure out what irony meant earlier? Well, this is it. You sit there looking at my video like you're a tired own Magnus reaction clip and then you have the balls to say I'm the worst commentary of all time at least I make my own commentaries you're just watching my commentary and then calling me old and ugly there is zero substance to your videos sure I make some jokes and say some dumb shit for fun sometimes but I also make actual points and explain them thoroughly you don't and you don't even show any of my points here because you're dishonest and you're hiding them from your fans you're afraid to address my actual arguments because you're weak and probably stupid look like an insecure beta or probably even an Omega fat fuck who just sits behind 4chan the entire day, 
and uh, roll social justice warriors on Twitter every single day. That's the vibe I'm getting here from you. You look like a 40 year old pedo pizza. Again, I'm insecure for calling the BuzzFeed guys ugly, but somehow no fuckers is not insecure for calling me the exact same thing. I don't know how this is different, really, but for some reason, no fuckers is allowed to call people ugly, but when other people do it, they're insecure, according to him. Oh yeah, I forgot, you don't work out to challenge society's standards. You say that you have to listen to society, I say no. You're, what do you mean by not listen to society? What is society? ever told you that you you've defied okay well i'm a fat ass so i don't give a shit I, I don't care about weight, I don't give a fuck. Yeah, it makes sense, makes sense. Does anyone out there know what that clip had to do with anything? That's a year old unrelated stream. How is that relevant to today's video? Usually I can at least get into the minds of these idiots and see what they're trying to go for, but with this one, I'm flabbergasted. I guess he thinks it's funny because I said it was fat? I don't know, maybe no fuckers is a big Destiny fan. I mean, he's shown Destiny clips a bunch of times today. I didn't know no fuckers like pro incest defenders like Destiny so much. Wow, really makes you think. Maybe pedos and incest ancestors are cool in Russia or something. I don't know. Just seems creepy and weird to me. Now I see why you overcompensate with that big comb over puffball so much. Now once again, look at yourself, retard. You also hide your hair that's probably receding behind your comb over, okay? And as well, the panties in the comments for Eugene in the busted videos I so can. I'm sure this nigga gets bitches any day. I get it. You think I'm ugly and you think Eugene is hot. And instead of responding to my video and what I said, you cut to pictures of me every line you can. I guess I could do that too. Hey, no fuckers. You can't say I'm ugly. Look at this pic. Look at you. You're fat and ugly. You can't comment on other people's looks by your own logic. And I also don't have to address your points now. Look, I found a funny picture of you so I can ignore everything else you said. Do you guys realize that this video is so bad that I have to defend BuzzFeed? Defending BuzzFeed, yes, I don't know, I don't know how did my life come to this point. You don't have to, guy. You're defending BuzzFeed because you want to. You think they're attractive men who get lots of ladies. You said this, repeatedly, and obviously I triggered you enough to make you respond here. So, let's get things straight. No fuckers is standing with the BuzzFeed betas. He's standing with BuzzFeed and the autistic Twitch streamer Destiny. They're all a bunch of creepy beta losers and no fuckers is standing with them, probably because he's one of them. If I was really gonna pick the best face here, I think I would go with the tiny Will Arnett again. The guy on the right. Besides his oddly big nose, he's the only decent looking man here. Kinda <laughs> normal. The two on the left are a definite no-no. And maybe the Asian is, but he is balding, so I think it's safe to say this low rent Arnett has it. I'd also like to note, for the record, my video is making this guy laugh. A lot. And at the end of the day, that's my ultimate goal. Entertainment. I don't care if you laugh with me or at me, if we're being honest. So, in actuality, my goal has been achieved here. My video's goal was entertainment and its mission was a success. But no fuckers and his commentary that shit's failing pretty fucking hard today. Now, here's he makes the point that uh, BuzzFeed only hires ugly ass looking niggas. Uh, only has ugly ass uh, beta males who don't look masculine, uh, who don't have jawlines, who are not alpha red pill motherfuckers like yourself. Well, that's not even my point, dude. I never said I was an alpha red pill motherfucker in my BuzzFeed video. I said that in a stream on another channel almost a year ago, as a joke. And this is how low and weak this kid has gotten. He can't attack my videos or my arguments honestly. So, he lies and makes shit up and pulls pulls clips and quotes from other places, and says my jokes were meant to be serious. And then he mashes all that together, hoping his 13 year old fans don't notice how dishonest and full of bullshit he is. Well that's a wrong point because I can just give you a couple of screenshots of uh, some busted workers here that I think, I'm not gonna say they're attractive or not attractive, I'm just gonna say that they look pretty masculine to me. <laughs> Those guys look masculine to you? Good to know, bro. So there's plenty of busted men who are pretty attractive to females and who do look masculine. And I'm not gonna say that all of them are just beauty icons and all the women are soaking their fucking panties because these are the most beautiful guys on earth right here. Actually, you said the women were soaking their panties for Eugene multiple times today. The panties are fucking soaked for Eugene, okay? The panties in the comments for Eugene in the busted videos are so can. And I really don't want to defend BuzzFeed, but this is like the worst anti-BuzzFeed video I've seen in my fucking life. It's just an insecure piece of dog shit who looks like a 40 year old divorced father. I know you like calling me insecure, old, and divorced over and over again, but just because you repeat that weak insult 20 times doesn't make it true. Just roasting people and shitting on their looks for 14 minutes and that's, that's the entirety of this fucking video. That's it. You mean kind of like how your whole video says I'm ugly the entire time? Look in a mirror, dude. I've avoided talking about your looks because I didn't want to stoop as low as you did. 
be as dumb as you, but let's go ahead and get into it. You look like an inbred, pasty-ass, pizza-faced wimp. Fucking beta cuck, for sure. You're the one who shouldn't be calling people ugly, buddy. If we went by your rule, you have no room to comment on other people's looks. Basically, this no fuckers guy sides with the SJWs and BuzzFeed and the incest supporter Destiny. He tries to come off as this cool and edgy commentary channel, but really he's just another leftist loser supporting the whole fuck white people, conservatives are the devil narrative. No fuckers commentary is weaker than single ply toilet paper. All he did was dig up some old quotes I said as a joke on a pro incest guy's live stream. No fuckers supports Destiny, the leftists, SJWs and BuzzFeed. Need I say more? His bants are weakened, repetitive as shit. I think this little boy needs to stick to YouTube drama. Stick to commenting on rice gum, little guy, because politics and social commentary is out of your wheelhouse. I would also recommend you work on your English skills too. I know you love the West and wish you could get out of your shithole in Russia and live here, so you should at least learn how to speak our language properly. Fix your stammering and learn what tough words like irony mean, because I think you missed a point on that a few times. Besides that, I mean, what else is left to say? No fuckers is welcome to defend himself here if he wants. I formally invite him onto a live stream. That is, if he's not afraid to talk with a beta cuck like me. Come on, alpha dog. Let's have ourselves some blood sports. I know Tonka saw tried to have you on the Kumite, but you didn't want to respond to that. Are you scared, no fuckers? Because that doesn't sound too alpha to me. In the end, this no fuckers video was just another in a long line of responses made about me, and no bullshit. I guess this Rusky thought he could just copy and paste everything everyone else said about me and just get away with it, but not today. And should we really be surprised this Russian is ripping people off? Russians have been making knockoffs of American stuff for generations, so no fuckers unoriginality here shouldn't be a surprise. What do you guys think? Was no fuckers commentary as shitty as I said? Do people have to be good looking to comment on appearances? Do sports announcers need to be Super Bowl winning quarterbacks to comment on football? And what about him repeating the same tired insults over and over? Do you think that's because he's stupid or he's just got nothing else to say? Comment your thoughts on everything below and thanks for watching No Bullshit. Also, one last thing. I think No Fuckers needs to read some Jordan B. Peterson books because that room of his is a mess. Make your bed, fool. And why don't you try growing up and moving out of your parents' basement too? It'll do wonders for fixing all your insecurities. With all that said, No Bullshit, out. Out.